welcome to Craft Little Things, I'm Andrew, thanks for joining me today. Um, I've got this cute little milk carton box with a little bit of a twist. It's got a concertina, kind of frilled concertina top on it. And you can make this bigger if you want to, this is kind of um, my prototype, but I, still, I think it looks quite cute anyway. Um, and this ribbon is tied using a tag topper punch and a little tag. And I've just used very vanilla and the... Um, Three, this little pig stamp set and I think it just looks really cute um, not many, you don't need much to make it um, but it looks really pretty and it's very effective um, so, I'm gonna show so you what we need it. to start with is I'm using a pink, some pink cardstock and this measures 10.5 by 9 inches on the 10.5 side I've scored it at half an inch, 3 inches, 5.5 and, and 8 inches and then I'll turn it to the side and score it at two and a half, five, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half. Okay. You also need some little pieces of um, cardstock. I'll just give you the measurements for those. Uh, you need four that measure two and three eighths square. So you need four little pieces, I'm using the very vanilla. You need a piece of pink that measures two and three quarters by two. A piece of very vanilla that measures two and five eighths by two and seven eighths. And then you need two pieces that measure one and an eighth by two and three eighths. Okay. So what you want to do is just get your bone folder and burnish all of your score lines sorry about my phone it's quite busy today I've had lots of um, business interactions going on today which is weird because it's Sunday. Don't normally have much happening on a Sunday. So what we're doing is with these. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that. So we're putting all of our score lines are mountain folds, little mountain folds, little valley folds. And then when we get to this point where we've got the half inch um, score lines, we're doing a concertina. Okay. These are mountains. These are valleys. So then what we need to do is get the scissors and we need to lose all of this on the light side where we have the thin score line, the half inch score line, we need to lose all the concertina from there. Okay. And then we need to also lose... that piece as well so that first notch down keep this one and then we're going to lose this bottom one so take that off and then we're going to notch in this flap this is going to be the joining flap for our box let's just notch that in and then we're going to cut up each of these score lines we're giving like four full um, width panels to the bottom, so it's going to be a really nice and sturdy box. This it'll hold something heavy like a candle or a nice glass or something. We'll work out which is our front, so that's going to be my front. So that means this is going to be the back. So these are going to be the sides. So I'm notching the sides just to get rid of some bulk and snip off a little bit from the bottom because as long as my front and back are nice and square I'm not bothered about the rest just snip that in a bit more okay so I've just snipped off a random amount there now obviously this is going to 
go together. Right, what we want to do now is we want to cut away this concertina and this concertina. So we've just got the front and the back ones left. So cut down that score line and cut that away. And cut down this score line. that away push that back to help you get through you can save them they're handy to use for little gussets on a little a little bag or a little wallet or something and then this is going to be I I wondered why it wasn't um, folding. I haven't burnished the score lines down the sides. So then that's going to fit together like so. Okay, that's all going to come up, that's going to come up, that's going to come up. And then this is going to join together. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that these pinch in. Right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my little panels. Now two of the panels, the two small panels, they are going to go on here. So I'm going to pop those on now. And let them dry. So they're going to go like so. And one on this side. And then the other four are going to go into those panels there. And the other one is your tag. Now you might need a stamping platform for this. Um, I'm not going to because when I use a stamping platform, um, it just feels like a lot of fat. Try and get them as central as you can. Don't worry if you get a little bit of a, a little bit of a bleed. It's not gonna. I'm always go around the back. You can always turn it over and do it again. Printing all four, stamping all four. I'm just going to repeat that one because it was a bit. One thing you might not realise about the little pig stamps is that they do come with the sentiment attached. So they come. They come with those sentiments attached to them. Uh, obviously not these ones. So she did, loves you, says thanks. Um, I'm just going to stamp out this little cloud. I should have done this earlier, but I forgot. So I'm just going to stamp this onto the... Just onto the... take my aqua blender I'm just gonna edge off that card just blend a little bit on oh blended a bit too much on there I'm just gonna take my aqua painter 
I'm just going to paint a little bit of the clouds in. and easier. <laughs> and to fold it over, attach that together. And then remember which is the front of our box and which is the back. And that was the back, this is the front, I think. Yeah, this is the front. So I'm going to pop the back down first, then the two sides, and then the front. So I've got a nice even finish at the front. And I'm going to use Tombow for that just because it, I think it secures things better. And then you've got a nice strong bottom there because you've done those four sort of full layers. I'm just going to press things onto the sides as well while I'm at it. This is the front. So this is where I'm going to squeeze now, and that's where that little bit of burnishing will come in handy. And then these now will, you'll probably find that they have to be refolded to make sense of it again, if you like. In this first section here, you just want to pop in a couple of holes and you can use whatever you want to make those holes. I'm going to be using my cropper tile. And they have to go in to that first section in about the same distance. I'm putting mine in about half an inch from... sides okay I need this lovely pink stitch ribbon and can pop it through both sides so I'm gonna pop it through there and through there Tina's but I just thought that was cute and there we have it